This video is on the Wyvern turboprop. Hope you guys enjoy this short intro. I can't believe that KV-1 survived that shot, dude. That is ridiculous. No, we can take it without the rockets. Right, we're rocketless. But we still got plenty of Hispano ammo. Oh, I see him. Oh, they're awful. Oh, that was... Puma. I'll stick down here as well. Enemy aircraft coming in. Okay, down he goes. Right, there's a plane coming in. Two, actually. One's climbing pretty high. This guy's coming in low. Bottom trip. 109. Okay, brother. Do your best. This guy's got orange doom wings on. Oh, we don't survive this. Next pass. Big old heavy boy. And there's another plane coming in as well. Okay, the flaps are on, and then he goes. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wyvern S4, Doggo. And I've owned this plane for a very long time. It was one of the first steam vehicle purchases I have ever made in War Thunder. And really the only reason at the time I bought it is because it looked cool and it sounded cool. Now, yeah, this thing sounds like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. And whenever it flies across the battlefield, everyone looks towards it and starts to shoot at it. Now, when I first bought this vehicle, I think it was 5.0. It was then dropped to 4.7 and they nerfed its flight model. And then it was dropped to 4.3 and they nerfed its flight model even more. But the one change they did to this thing that really crushed it is that they made it a strike fighter. So not only does it fly like a brick now, it also counts as a fighter spawn and no longer an attacker. And a lot of British mains will realise that just about every single aircraft in the tech tree now qualifies as a fighter, especially these things that are very good at CAS. However, it does have quite a lot of armament. These are 16 RP3s. And then of course we have the miserably inaccurate Hispano Mark V's. With ground target belts, we can punch through the armor of Panthers from top down, pretty much most medium tanks, and we have 1200 rounds of ammunition. Now to add to the nerfs, there's one particularly large nerf this thing has had. God, I hate you, dude. And the R3 has a particularly easy time at shooting this thing down. And the reason? This plane is massive. Seriously, this is one thick girl in the sky. It is very easy to shoot down. Trust me, I have shot hundreds of them down in the past. And couple that with the noise this thing makes, an awful racket. You can definitely tell when it's coming in, the direction it's coming from. And of course, you have the new aiming square that kind of gives you legal wall hack. Now, it is still a fun plane to play. There is no doubt about it. But there is one aircraft that just does this thing's job and does it much better. Typhoon Mark 1BL. And yes, the Typhoon has half the ammunition and half the rockets, but it's much more survivable. It's faster, it turns a lot better, it stalls better, and it's harder to hit because of those reasons. And for me, a plane that can stay up in the air longer is far better than something that's just throwaway, and that's really what the Wyvern feels like. Now, I know a lot of German mains are going to go, Arbos, I hate you, this thing is overpowered, and I agree with you. I don't think it should be 4.3 at all, with the armament that it has, it's just that the flight model is garbage, but this thing can do a lot of damage very quickly to the enemy team. And for that reason, I think 4.3 is way too low. This plane is definitely a better sweet experience, but it's a good one nonetheless. Okay, let's hop into some games. You might hear my dog barking a lot, I apologize in advance. But I can't wait till we get new animations for the cannons firing. The old school ones looking kind of dated now compared to the the trailers we saw. I know I didn't make a reaction video to the new trailer, but everyone else was doing it and 
I don't know, I'd rather see the dev server first, so I can make my own impressions. I think whenever you watch a trailer for even a movie or something, you're not really getting the, the full effect. Of course I'm excited for it, but probably the most excited I've been for a patch, but I'm trying to not let my emotions get the better of me. <laughs> I've been disappointed too many times before when we got a man's over here. I think this SA-50 spotted him. Well, that's, that's not the same guy though. I'm quite happy to get an assist on this dude. Oh my god, what the hell is this? That's a lot of people. Did this guy die yet? No. There's three dudes shooting this one guy. You are tortured to death. Make sure I have nothing, get nothing out wide on the left hand side flank. Now this guy smoked. Which means he probably got a shot. Oh. I think I saw something stick out of this side of the cloud. Let's just keep an eye out here. I mean look at that smoke. New update should fix that. It's probably going to still be here. One's behind the hill. Come on smoke. Yeah, there he's right there. Big fans are four. Too high. Oh, he's changing direction. Smoked again. I don't know. Do you think we can do it? Not a try. Thing is, though, he smoked himself, but I'm not fast enough to use his smoke against him. When he's moving, this Cromwell's not got a chance in hell of killing this dude. Hands of 3L just killed a Cromwell though. Oh yeah, I see where he is. Where are Panzer 4? Where the hell are you? Little door wedge boy. My issue here is, I've got nowhere to back up to. If I get a hit. That should have gone through, but track armor. Seems pretty confident he can take another hit. That, I'm sure that should have hit him, but there you go. No. Don't do this, dude. Okay, teammates also having a go at him. As I just kill my bud. I need a slightly lower shot. That's the one. Oh! It was the Panther gun boy. If I knew that, I would have shot him a lot lower in the first place. Wait, well, two kills and an assist, which is live and worthy. There's a Panzer 3L on this hill I need to watch out for, but in all honesty, it doesn't matter now. I can get in my plane and that's the end of that. Oh. Right. Oh, teammate gum. ASU 57. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, my friendly artillery's blocked me from killing something. That's why I hate artillery and I don't use it. Everyone keeps complaining that I don't use it. I could have had this stuck dead long ago, but no. Someone thought it'd be a cool idea to cover the area in dust. <laughs> I'm literally molding. Hmm, I thought I'd hull break that thing, but it's probably not doing very well. Oh, we just bounced a shot here as well. Going to reverse. What was that actually? Oh no. And a bread I snuck up behind me. Well, where is he actually? Oh, he's a way back there. Yeah, I should have been watching that flank. Anyway, it's Wyvern time. Is that? That's a Japanese fighter of some sort. Or maybe not. It, it looks like it's got Japanese roundels on it. Okay, there's a Warble one that just sniped my buddy in his F6F. And we are not going to be able to outmaneuver. The onslaught from that. Oh my god, dude, I stuck. I just killed her. Buddy here as well. Come on. I'm trying to get a yoink on his after threes on this guy. Okay, good. Stuck actually did the right thing. I've got a feeling I'm about to get disintegrated by a warble wind. Yeah. It's close to it. I'll try and long ball this breader. That's a single 20mm is firing at me too. This is getting hit. I'm trying to move into cover. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, here we go. Those are too low. Mm-hmm. 
it's dive again. I want to get a long range on this guy. What are you shooting at? A PE3. Enemy aircraft. Oh my god, dude, you're so slow, Wyvern. You're such a big good lassie. Those are looking okay. That just hoofed me. A wobble. Oh. oh, my engine's out, but we got three kills. I probably should have just used my cannons more often than I did the rockets, but I looked killer. <laughs> It looked killer and that's all that matters. What oh, is this guy? Oh, a murder. Maybe one more. Oh, God, it got absolutely rinsed. Yeah, guys in these things. Well, I need to drop some tea. But I think I'm just going to drop a bomb on him anyway for a laugh. I mean, why not, right? Let's level out here. And... Yoink! Oh, the I-16 might be bombing him or rocketing him. Uh, oh, he missed. That's okay, though. <gasps> that bomb landed right underneath him, dude! Oh my god! Oh, well, there you go. Alright, big boy map. Like my new decal? It's in the, uh... The weak latest but you have to spend GE on it for me as a Scotty it's definitely worth it but when it comes to an actual vehicle that was used by the Scotch engineers then I'm definitely gonna put it on it I uh, see you don't shoot my dog no you oh, evil man oh my god you missed it though kinda it just looks like it's got a really big butthole now so oh. That's far away. I don't think it's far away enough. I can't hit it though. Oh, a little bit too high. It's like firing his machine gun constantly. It's like 18, right? I had the distance pretty much right before. It's looking good. No. No. I don't know if my shots are just inaccurate because distance. Who are you? What? Okay, I'm going. I'm going with the Ranger. Using my scroll wheel. That was too high. No, he's actually going further away. That's what you want to see. Oh no, it's a broom bear. This guy is closer. Let's go 15. Should have cap, dude. This guy's a legend. Right, there we go. I've got I've got it locked in. Right, this guy is behind. Oh. You're so lucky, dude. 1550. And dude. That was over. And I didn't lead enough. He's behind a tree now. It's looking good actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Right, 1500 on you. Too high. Oh no. I was looking pretty good there, dude. Almost like you were gonna hit me. Did he drive towards me? He must be moving, right? He is moving. Damn, why won't you die, dude? These long range shots are kind of fun for me. It's like the most fun I have in War Thunder, actually, is doing a, a long range snipe with a vehicle like this. Oh, there. It's getting pretty close. I keep doing him superficial damage and it's annoying me. 
1300 meters is a good long way though. Zigzagging. I hit only his driver. He's here somewhere. We've got probably one more chance to kill this guy before his driver's back up and he starts moving again. There we go. Right. 17. No, Cisco 1650 on this guy. He's just stopped. Oh. A little bit higher. He's moving too fast. Somebody else is trying to get shots on me here too. Alright, okay. Maybe we get you first then. Or are you a breather? Oh. Yeah, that 90mm should have killed me, but... That's alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the one that got... Annoyed by it, you know? <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you get gaijin and sometimes, sometimes you're on the, the good end. Right, okay, Panzer three is going this way. Where are you going actually, dude? Enigma. Well, he's going absolutely nowhere now. Dude, I'm like controlling this whole side of the map. The only issue is I've got three bullets left. And this guy, who went up here, I've no idea what happened to him. Or that could be him right there for all I know. I've got no idea. I'm gonna get bombed now. I deserve it. How many long range years have we got? Six? Well, we've got four long range years and two fairly close ones. Right, this guy. I'm gonna go for 1300. Hmm. A little bit lower and a little bit closer. No, I got saved. Oh, I'm gonna mess you up, dude. You ruined my fun. Ow. Right, good news. We got a Crew Log 21 up. And I don't think this A36 is gonna be any help against fighters. We've got Werbo down here, too, actually. I'm hoping this CW-21 will at least survive so he can kill this other plane that's here. Now where's this Sav at? I need to remember, right? My cannons are as useful as my rockets are. The Spanos are very good at dealing with anything, really. From Panthers, Hetzers, uh, Jagdpanzers, all sorts of things. We've, we've got really good damage potential. Not just penetration, but good post-pen damage too. I just seen one guy down there. This guy just chilling in this building. Okay, I got him on fire, so he's not going to be able to drive out of the way of this M42 flanking him. But this M42 is just driving right out in front of him like an absolute chad. Well, this Sav guy is bullying our team. I need to kill him. I'm sorry for the revenge kill, dude. Oh no, that's a... that's a Puma. Okay, maybe his panels aren't that great. Where is this Sav at? A Crew Log 21 just crashed. Oh, I see him. Stop hurting our team. Okay, this Churchill's actually going to kill him, I think. Okay, the Hesser's dead. He's open top, so... Oh my god, dude. He's... The Hispanos on this are like garbage. They're like so, uh, so flaky in accuracy. Actually, I'm very surprised that didn't do more damage to him than it did. At least his engine's out, I suppose. <gasps> That's a lot of tanks down there. I don't know if this is a good idea with all those 50 cows, but they're all so close together. <laughs> I want to get sniped with this 50. I know it. Oh my god, dude. This is so hard to aim. I wasted a lot of rockets trying to get a sick montage for YouTube when I really shouldn't have. Was, oh no, we're dead. That's an R3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I mean about this poor thing. Can I 
No, I can't do anything. Very cool, Gaijin. Thanks for adding a future mobile to this battle rating. So the Wyvern's a pretty cool plane, but the issue I have with it is you have to spend a lot of time flying in a straight line to get your rockets on target, whereas on the Typhoon, you can kind of reaction shot them and pull away before an SPA shoots you down. And with the Typhoon, you can defensive fly in it and escape death. But if something gets on your 6 in this aircraft, there's really nothing much you can do at all. Really, the best way to fix this aircraft is to put it back at 4.7 and then make it an attacker instead of a fighter. Now, I had played better games in this thing, but unfortunately, because of hardware failures, we won't ever get to see them other than replays. But I have ordered something in the meantime, and hopefully we'll have that up and running in the next couple of days. And that's all thanks to the ludicrous amount of people who are supporting me over on Patreon. I still can't believe that. Especially the tier 3 guys who are over there. Big Bearded Moose, Gross Admiral, G Tormy, Justin Darlin, Kane the Soul Lord, Nate J, Firepiper, Viking God, Warpig, Zem, Yogbo, and Sexy. That list just seems to be getting bigger and bigger, and I couldn't appreciate it anymore. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love, and bye-bye.